All right. Hey there, Internet. What's going on? This is Trey's coming to you live from the Beat Refinery here in Washington, D.C. Going to do a quick Ableton Live tutorial for you on simple warping. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We can break down warping into two types in Ableton Live. The first would be warping a quantized song. And the second example I'm going to do is warping a non-quantized song. Quick definition of warping for all those who don't know. Essentially, it's locking audio to a beat grid. Okay? So when we do our two examples, we're going to be able to lock audio to the Ableton Live beat grid, and we're going to use Arrangement View in our example, and we'll be able to change the tempo of the song. Okay? So the first example I'm going to do is the quantized song, and when I'm talking about quantized, I mean a song that was made with the aid of a computer or a drum machine or a metronome, something to keep the tempo or BPM perfectly locked all the way the same, all the way through the song. So the example song I'm going to be using is Five More Hours, Dioro and Chris Brown. Okay, And I happen to know that this song is exactly 128 BPM. And in order to do this first part of the example, you have to know the exact tempo of your song. You can use whatever method you want to determine that. Um, I happen to use DJ software, Serato DJ, to calculate the BPM of all my tracks. So I know the tempo of this song is 128. So to get started, we're going to enter in 128 in the global tempo here in Ableton Live. We'll double click on the top bar of this clip. And down here in the clip view, I'm going to set this start arrow right on the first one beat of this clip, which happens to be this first kick drum right here. Okay, and now that I have the tempo set exactly and I have the start arrow set exactly on the first one beat, I can go ahead and turn on the metronome and test this to make sure it's locked onto this beat grid all the way through the song. Okay, so we'll skip to the middle here and we'll hit play. So far, so good. And right here at the end. So I'm already four minutes into the song, and you can see I'm still perfectly locked onto the beat grid here. Same at the end. Okay, so now that I know my song, my clip here, is exactly synced with the tempo of the project, I can go ahead and turn warp on. Okay, so now this audio contained in this clip is perfectly locked to the beat grid. So now that it's locked, I can change the tempo of the project and this clip, because it's warped or warp is turned on, will follow whatever tempo I set the project to. So if I set this to 100 and I play it, it follows it. If I set it to 90, it follows it. If I set it to 140, it follows it. And that's the same all the way through. So that's really simple, quick warping of a quantized song in Ableton Live. I'm going to save this project for you guys to download from the comments section later on. We'll move on to the second part of this tutorial, which would be warping a non-quantized song. Now, when you're doing the non-quantized song, this is a song that was made without the use of a drum machine, computer, metronome, click track, anything to keep the beat. So we're going to lock this to a beat grid, but we're going to have to do it manually. We can't just set the first beat, turn on warp, and expect it to be perfect all the way through. The other thing is it does help to know generally what the tempo of the song is to start with. Um, and you can even use live to help you determine that. So I'm just going to hit play right here. And that's a, that's a four beat. And this is a one. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to start on the one and hit play. Then I'm going to use the tap function in live to tap out the tempo just to kind of get a general idea of what it is. Three, four, tap, 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 tap. So we're at about 119, 120. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round this off to 120 exactly. And then I'm going to go into my clip here. And I'm going to set this start arrow 
right on that first one beat. So we're using basically the same process that we did with the quantized song. But here's where it's going to change up. So I'm going to turn the metronome on. The metronome and the grid lines are going to be your guide to getting this thing warped, locked onto a beat grid. So I'm going to turn warp on. Okay. And I'm going to use the metronome and the grid lines here to stretch this audio so it lines up on the grid. So if I'm looking at these waveforms here in the clip, I want these to match up with the beat divisions on my grid. Two, three, four, one. So here's the next one beat. So this would be dragged back over to the beginning of this bar. And we'll double click to add a marker to lock it in place. And you can see there was a first marker already added automatically when I turn warp on. Two, three. So here's three. Here's the first beat that's supposed to be on the three. And again, we'll just click and drag this over to the three and double click to lock it in place. And you're going to continue to do that all the way through the song. Three, four, one. So there's another one right there. We'll lock that in place. One, two, three, four, one. All right. And this is simple warping of a non-quantized song. Bit of a tedious task. Probably, if you get fast at it, it should take you a little bit more than the length of the time of the song to get the whole thing completely warped and locked into the beat grid. So this is a four minute song. It should take you about, you know, anywhere from four to 10 minutes to completely warp this all the way through. I'm only setting a marker on the first one beat of each bar just to keep it simple and to keep the original groove and feel of the song. But this is a good stepping stone starting point for you to get non-quantized and quantized songs warped and ready to use in your projects and your arrangements or your DJ edits. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is Trey's with Beat Refinery and I'll see you guys next time.